second hand does not mean you have to scrimp on style. And I'm so excited to be here with a girl after my own heart. <laughs> Abby Trujillo is here and she's from Peach Vintage, her own business. And today is your one year anniversary. It is, it's our birthday. Congrats. I kind of can't believe that. Thank that you. That is so cool. Thank okay, you. so what inspired you to start your shop in the first place? So um, I have been thrifting and secondhand shopping for myself for probably like 10 years, just like you, just <laughs> all about it for myself. And I started finding things that either weren't my size or they were so amazing, but I kind of already had one. I totally know yeah. the feeling. Like you see something that you love and maybe it like won't work for you, but you're right. like, someone has to have this. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, someone needs this. So I started just taking them in and deciding I'll just share them with other people. How cool. Yeah. That's Thanks. so smart. So um, I love that everything is online. So this is an online shop. Abby yes. does pop up shops and things yeah. like that but for the most part you're posting all of these looks and pieces of clothing um, and home decor yeah. on your website yes and yep. that's where people go to shop exactly every week I go and get new inventory and I add things to the shop sometimes there are big hauls sometimes there are little ones um, but that way it's available 24 7 anybody super can cool. get on and access super, it. super super cool and clever I'm like Thank I should have thought of that dang it. <laughs> she's like 12 steps ahead of me we we're looking at some of your styling there um, and I think you have a very distinct style how would you characterize like your niche within fashion yeah. what do you tend to go for um I am very uh, neutral kind of bohemian we're West Coast people I kind of like the desert vibe but also very minimalist just I think that's what makes things last longer and classic looks are kind of the neutral tone yes yes and you have some authentic pieces yes. grab that cute little dress yes. there and show everybody like this is something that I went crazy for yes. this is a gorgeous little 60s style school dress and I could not believe that I got a hold of it but it's just beautiful these tones look good with probably every skin tone this is a good little find. What's interesting is that it's an authentic piece from the 60s with the Peter Pan collar, but it has a very modern look with the colors yes. and some of the tailoring. It looks like you might just be able to buy it at like Nordstrom or something. Exactly, which is kind of one of my favorite things about secondhand shopping. I think people think stuff is always out of date, but that's not the truth. Totally not the truth at no. all. No. Um, what's that guy right there? Is yes. that like a fuzzy little? Yes, <gasps> so these were super in this autumn and winter and they, have got little pampas grass from this guy <laughs> but they are so soft and cozy and warm and you can always find one for less expensive than like Nordstrom. That's so for darling. Example. Yeah so this is definitely more a modern style yes. right something you would have been able to buy um, but then you also find handmade pieces and this is why yes. I started thrifting in the first place because you find one of a kind thing. Exactly. No one else is gonna have this. No this is a little handmade piece all this pretty detailing it's got a little tag because it's from a little personal Look at that shop. Tag. But it's the cutest made thing. This by hand. It is incredible. I don't yes. know if you can see all the detailing all on the there. All the stitching. But the lace and the beadwork and the sequins. Like, I would wear this. Yes. It's absolutely incredible. And it's one of those once in a lifetime finds where no one else will match you. So, which how is awesome. can I ask you this? Yes. Like, when you find something like this, Sometimes people worry, I know I do, uh, about like, is it clean? How do I wash it? Especially when it's a delicate fabric. Totally. What do you advise your clients to do with yes. that? Yes, so I would say that is one reason to shop at a curated shop like this, or we have a ton of them in Utah, which is really great, because we'll do the work for you. We will go to the professionals to have it cleaned. We'll go through all of the little fixing the details. Um, if you find something on your own, Go to your dry cleaner and just ask them their advice. How to same, handle it. Yeah, same yeah. with alterations. If you have something that needs fixing, take it to a professional. They often know exactly what to do. That is true with a curated shop. I mean, I like to go to just large secondhand stores yes. and like sift through it. But if you're not like that, like if that's a little overwhelming for you, like somewhere like what yes. Abby does would be perfect because they do all that work and then you come and see this. Right. <laughs> all nice right? and clean. And you just go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Exactly. But you still get the great prices. Yes. Um, is it pretty affordable? I mean, what would you say your prices range yes. between? So that's one of my biggest goals with having Peach Vintage is that I loved secondhand shopping because it's thrifty. I felt like I could always be grabbing something new, which was really fun. But I want everybody to know that they can afford these things too. So my price range is very affordable. Um, that's just exactly so what cool. I aim for. And we talked Thank a you. lot about clothing, but you yeah. were just seeing, you know, some shots of the home decor as yes. well. Um, Abby, I have to brag about her, is also a florist. So she's like very artsy <laughs> and um, you sell a lot of home decor too. And does yes. that go kind of the same, the same way with the home decor? Exactly. Yep. I go and I find it, especially, I mean, every single thing that you're seeing here is all secondhand. So um, cute. A lot of this is from my own home. 
bunch of it I sell, but a lot of it I have to You're keep like, the pieces myself. You're like, actually, this is going in my yeah, room. Yeah, I'm like, I'm saving that. All. Yeah. It's such a great thing to do and environmentally friendly. Americans yes. waste so much every year. Yes, it's crazy. There, the statistic blew my mind, but Americans alone give 11 million tons of textiles to landfills every single year. That is insane. Just yeah. throw the button back on or right. give it to Abby. Or, yeah, exactly. Right, like Just donate. So can do. um, yeah. There is a downtown vintage market, everybody, happening this Saturday, April 27th at the clubhouse there in South Temple. And you have to go. It's just two bucks to get in. And Abby will be there. And it's happening all afternoon from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And other vendors like her where you can just go and learn and get your thrifting on. Get your Perfect. vintage on. I feel like I need this and this and this. That's we need awesome. to do some talking during the yes, commercial break. we do. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Coming up next, everybody.